What's good out there everyone? It's Real Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday so far. Uh, yeah, so what we have here for you today is a duplication glitch. It's one of like maybe two dupe glitches that are working right now and the other one is just a variation of this one. So we really don't have many options, all right? But you guys were asking me for a money glitch, haven't posted one in a while. This is what we got and it's freaking easy. We've had this for weeks now, okay? But uh, yeah, shout out to uh, King Alex and Evil Branch for finding this out. Now, what you're going to need is a facility. Make sure you have a retro custom or a Benny's vehicle that you want to dupe inside the facility. You do not need custom plates for this glitch, so that's a good, uh, that's a really good tip. Uh, apart from that, join a friends only session and uh, you need one friend to do this. You want RH8s or Fagios. I recommend Fagios or like Sanchez's in any other garage and an MOC to actually save the car, okay? With the personal vehicle storage. Must have the personal vehicle storage. So at this point, what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually invite my friend. And uh, did I say you need an Avenger? Yeah, you need an Avenger. That's also very important. Um, yeah. And so what I'm doing right now, I'm inviting my friend into my you know, facility. Remember, I said join a closed friend session makes it nice and easy to join your friend back after you glitch him out. Now, we're going to be doing the thing where you get glitched out in the Avenger. OK, now some of you were having trouble with this guys you have to hold pause or start you know and you let go of pause and then you hit a or x to exit the facility so a lot of people were trying to actually hit a or x before letting go of pause no you have to let go of pause first and you're gonna see what i mean excuse me you're gonna see what i mean here in a second so get into your avenger go ahead and hit right d-pad and then you're gonna be on the mod you know menu have your friend go ahead and get into the avenger on the other side okay so you see he's hopping in now go ahead and hover over exit the facility remember you're holding pause right now let go of pause and like literally a millisecond after hit a or x okay just to confirm to exit the facility so i failed the first time i'm gonna try it again right here let go of pause boom hit a or x and you should be on a blurry screen your friend will be on an infinite black loading screen once that happens what you want to do is go ahead and close app as you see me doing right here now your friend will stay stuck on that infinite loading screen if you did it right all right just like that so now we're just restarting gta and in a second here i will be fast forwarding so that you guys don't have to you know watch this intro and uh, i mean it really doesn't take that long to actually sign back into gta i don't know why it feels that way but on um, playstation there's a nice little percentage we don't have that on xbox kind of sucks but uh yeah so once you load into story mode remember since you're in a close friend session you can just go ahead and actually join your friend right back so go to your friend's profile card or go to the party, whatever you want to do, and you can just hit join game on your friend and you should be able to get session details and join right in. If not, your friend can also send you an invite while on that black screen, I'm pretty sure. So at this point, we're just waiting here through the loading screen and uh, I guess another good thing would be to actually set your spawn location to the facility since you, know, you can spawn right in there and actually get your friend unglitched. Well, not unglitched, just off the black screen. But as you can see, we just spawned in the session. And uh, this was actually an invite only session, but the reason it works is because on Xbox, if you're in the same party as somebody, you don't need an invite for an invite only session. As long as you're in the same party, you can actually join them without an invite. So there's no such thing as an invite only on Xbox. All right, so now as you see, I'm gonna go over to the Avenger and you see my friend is still stuck in the passenger seat. He's actually still on the black loading screen. So what I need to do is press pause, go to online, Jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, missions, a titan of a job. Now, on Xbox, we're in the same party, we're in the same session. He's actually gonna get an automatic alert to, to join right when I get into this, you know, into this lobby screen. But if you don't get an automatic alert, like nobody does on PlayStation, you wanna go ahead and invite your friend or join him through the party, whatever you wanna do. Once he's on that alert to join, you wanna go ahead and back out of the job. Now you go ahead and let him know he can accept that join game alert. He's gonna get an unable to connect alert. Tell him to go ahead and accept that. He should be shot right back down into the Avenger and he can go ahead and press Y or triangle to get out. And there we go, he's off the black screen and he is glitched inside of our facility. Nice and easy. So what you wanna do now is go ahead and tell him to position himself over by your Benny's vehicle. In this case, we're using a retro. Doesn't matter if it has custom plates or not, you do not need them for this glitch. And uh, yeah, tell him to just stand by one of your retros over there. You wanna go ahead and go outside and you want to set up to do this glitch so this is the best way to actually set up to do this all right so go ahead and the first thing you want to do is call out your moc all right i already had this retro out for some reason i think it was from the last glitch video i was doing but uh yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and you saw that i just requested my moc i'm gonna go ahead and drive over there and actually get in it and bring it back to the facility so 
I would also recommend at this point signing in as a motorcycle club president if you're going to be calling out Sanchez's or Faggio's to actually ride over, okay? So from this point on, the last personal vehicle you have on the map is what's getting duped over, okay? And I actually make a mistake in this video and I want to show you, but for now, you want to go ahead and get your MOC and you, have to get, you actually have to park it farther away from your facility than we used to. All right, before we used to get the blue circle parking, you're pretty close, doesn't work anymore. You got to park it pretty far. So you see, I know at this point I can get the blue circle uh, from my MOC when it's this, you know, distance away from my facility. All right, I've tried this a bunch of times. So now before I go in there, what you want to do is, like I said, if you're a motorcycle club president, even easier. I'm calling up that Sanchez. You could be using a Faggio, you know, one of those ATVs, whatever you want. You're just going to be riding over it and you're going to be getting the plates from that bike over onto your brand new retro dude. So now that I have a personal vehicle out there to overwrite, go ahead and go into the facility. And as you can see, my friend is coming down with me in the elevator. That means he successfully glitched out in the facility. That's kind of like another telltale sign that you know he's glitched out. So now we need to give him access to one of my retros so that he can actually go ahead and do the glitch and drive inside my facility. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into my retro, let the car start, tell him to press wire triangle once and then hold it again. And right when the door is fully open, you wanna just pop out of the vehicle and he should be able to slide right over. I've gotten really good at this timing now, guys. That's the best tip I can give you. So you see now he can actually drive. He's the one driving inside of my facility. Well, it's actually merge facilities, but he's able to drive my vehicles. So he's gonna park it right over here by the railings and he's gonna wedge both doors. Then he can press wire triangle to get out. He's just gonna tap to teleport out. Then I'm gonna tap to teleport out and tap again to teleport back in. Okay, so see that he goes out, I go out, I go back in. That's how that works. All right, so as long as you can teleport into the driver's seat, you're good to go. So go ahead and go to the exit facility yellow circle, hit A, or, hit A and Y at the same time on Xbox, hit X and triangle at the same time on PlayStation. You should get the flicker of you actually going into the vehicle for a second. That doesn't always happen, but as you can see right there, I, don't, I wanna make sure you guys saw that plate actually. You wanna spawn outside with the vehicle and your MOC is still there. So that plate said NTG, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and park this in my MOC so that I save the vehicle. All right, this is how you actually save the vehicles nice and easy. So there we go. I have actually successfully saved a dupe right there. I can go ahead and exit the trailer. Now, catch what I forget right here. And this was a total mistake, but I'm glad I did it because I'm, I'm going to show you, you know, how to actually see if you, if you screwed up or not. Because I know a lot of people in the past have done this. I've seen it in the comments. Look, I run right back into the facility just like that. What did I forget to do, guys? I forgot to call out a personal vehicle. So you know what's gonna happen now when I dupe uh, another retro? It's gonna dupe over the retro that I just put in my MOC because that was the last personal vehicle I had out on the map because I forgot to call out another Sanchez, Elegy, you know, ATV, whatever it is. All right, so you're gonna see right here. That's what you don't wanna do, but I just wanna show you what happens, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and give my friend access again. He taps Y once, taps it again. Right when the door opens, I pop out. And remember, you wanna hold it. You wanna tap Y once, then press it again and hold it, okay, as the friend. Now he has access, he can drive my vehicles, and he's gonna go ahead and park it just like we did before. He's gonna park it right there and wedge both doors and the railing. Uh, if you screw up on that, there you can actually still fix it up. It takes a little bit of like going in and out of the vehicles, but you can still fix it, okay? So, so you can see right there, he goes out, I go out, and I come back in, all right? And then now I'm gonna go ahead and do the trick. A and Y on Xbox at the same time, X and Triangle on PlayStation at the same time. Teleport in there and watch what happens now. And I didn't realize at all at this point that I forgot to call something out before. I'll show you when I realized it. So I drive out and look, successfully I made a dupe, but then I go to enter it in my MOC. Now I should get a full alert because there's the previous dupe I got in there. But look, I didn't get a full alert, I drove right in. So you see I just duped right over my other retro. So I still have only made one dupe thus far in the video. And I thought that was pretty sketchy. So I'm pretty sure I got into the car right here and I actually checked the plate. You see, I'm just standing here like, wait a minute, why didn't I get the full or what happened there? You know, did I forget to save the other vehicle or something like that? But I go ahead and I hop in here, look at the plate, NTG. See that? I actually just wrote over the old retro. I got the same plate from before. I didn't make a dirty dupe or anything. I actually wrote over that car. That's all that was, I just wrote over it. So now I go ahead and I actually decide, you know what, screw this. I'm just gonna, you know, return this to storage. And then I'm gonna do the right thing, which is what guys, call out a personal vehicle before you go into the uh, into the facility. So that's what you wanna do. You get the dupe outside, drive it into your MOC so it's saved, exit, uh, exit the MOC, 
make sure you call out a personal vehicle to ride over and then you go back in into the facility okay so that's how that works guys just wanted to show you what happens you know everybody makes mistakes i made one making this video but i realized it right away and i realized what i did all right so that's gonna be it for me guys i hope you enjoyed the video and learned something my name is roll easy make sure you subscribe to the channel by pressing that big red button turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope gta 5 online content we are on the road to 25,000 subscribers peace out